Hi everyone and Happy New Year. Matt Ayulo here with Scout Micro USA. And today I have a special guest with me and an old friend, Aldemar Campos, all the way from Spain. Aldemar is one of the world's leading technicians and one of the world's best and he owns a clinic in Madrid. He's flown in all the way from Spain this week so that I can do his first touch up in, in over four years. Hey, Happy New Year to everyone. My name is Aldemar Campos and I will say in Spanish because it's better for me. He volé de España para venir con Matt, que es uno de los mejores practicantes de esta parte de Estados Unidos. La experiencia es lo que yo buscaba en este momento para que tocara mi cabeza después de cuatro años. Como lo he dicho en España, esto es algo muy serio. Tú tienes que investigar muchísimo antes de dejarte tocar la cabeza por cualquier técnico. Matt tiene una experiencia excelente. Trabajamos juntos, sé su recorrido, conozco sus trabajos y por esa razón estoy acá en Nueva York. Bueno, realizaremos mi retoque en la parte de la corona que está un poco clara y Matt eh, tiene unas habilidades que los cuales voy a utilizar hoy. So, Matt. I'm excited to do it. Thanks for trusting me. I'm honored and uh, I'm going to do a good job for him. Okay, so as we discussed, Aldemar is here for his first touch up in over four years. And as you can see, the treatment still looks great. It's helped very, very well. But in his opinion and, and mine, there are some areas that can be retouched here. It has lightened a bit in certain areas. So it's going to be perfect now to get into those areas to re-strengthen it. I'm going to spend uh, a special focus on the crown area where you're starting to see some separation between his existing hair and the lighter treatment area. And I'll mark that out for you guys just so you can see. It's right around this ridge where him and I feel that it has lightened a bit. And what happens over time, over the next four to five years after you originally have the treatment is, the pigment will start to lighten, allowing the scalp skin to kind of shine through again. And that's what we want to focus on repigmenting so that you don't see too much of that scalp skin coming through, and also avoiding any areas where it has held well. This is going to create some depth to the treatment. It's going to create a new layer of a pigment, which gives this kind of a pop and brings it back to its original state and in my opinion looks even better than when it's originally done. La razón por la que estamos acá hoy es porque Matt va a realizar un retoque en mi cabeza después de cuatro años. ¿Qué pasa después de cuatro años? El pigmento empieza a aclararse y empieza a verse un poco la piel capilar. Entonces por esa razón lo que va a hacer Matt hoy es difuminar, trabajar desde la corona y luego se va a expandir, luego se mezcla con lo que hay de cabello y difumina. Esto es un trabajo que obviamente debe ser realizado por un técnico que tenga bastante experiencia. Yo puedo sobrevivir ahora como está, pero obviamente en mi trabajo me gusta que todos mis pacientes me vean a la perfección. Por esa razón, Mal se ha encargado de ese trabajo. So right now what I am doing is depositing tiny little replicated follicles into the area that we want to re-strengthen. Um, paying attention to areas that there is a bit of scalp skin starting to shine through so that we can repigment that area and also looking for any areas that the treatment has lightened substantially where we can now add a new layer to bring that depth that we were talking about earlier. And uh, Aldemar hasn't screamed or cried yet, so everything is uh, going well, going well so far. Okay, so we just finished the touch up with Aldemar. It took, what, 45 minutes or so, and we covered through the entire top and back part of the head. Um, added nice density. I looked, like I said, for areas that had lightened uh, over the last four or five years just to re-strengthen that. It's a little red right now, which is normal, as is, yeah, that's normal. As is every treatment um, as soon as it's done, but that'll settle down within two to three days, and everything will blend very well with his existing hair and with the original treatment. Como mal lo dijo, está un poco rojo, pero el color rojo se desvanecerá en cerca de un día o tres días. Todas las pieles son diferentes. Lo que Matt hizo fue trabajar de la corona, como dijimos antes, hacia la parte frontal. Hizo un pequeño retoque. Esto no tomó más de 40 50 minutos, pero está ok. Listo, después de cuatro años me realizaron el primer retoque, que obviamente fue Matt, uno de los mejores practicantes acá en esta parte de Estados Unidos. Bueno, eh, es perfecto. Matt, thank you very much. Hey, thank you.